Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back to another what I'm liking and not so much segment. So if you guys would like to see what I'm liking and maybe a not so much, keep on watching. All right, so today I have my cat with me. So you might hear me out every once in a while, but I don't have a whole lot to go through. I just have a few things because I do have a lot of products I am trying out and trying to get a feel for that I purchased or was sent to me and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, like I'm just going through several different things, but I can tell you another soap and glory item that I'm really liking is the shower cream it's well you can use it in the bath or in the shower it says it's the rich and famous this smells amazing i love the scents of almond in anything you know the almond scent i love almond scent it lathers up uh and moisturize your skin it really feels nice so i've really been enjoying that so i do think i'm going to try more soap and glory products because so far the two i've tried i have really liked a couple of products that were sent to me here that i'll talk to you guys about and one is this is a company called revive serums this was sent to me a good while ago. I actually did a blog on it and everything. And it's the HA7X multi molecular 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 HA7X multi molecular. Mo I can't say it. Excuse me. HA7X multi molecular. I think I said that right because I've been keeping keep having to repeat myself to see if I can pronounce it right. Hydrator serum. And it is compared to Skin Medica HA5 Rejuvenating Hydrator. I don't know. I've never tried uh, the Skin Medica. I know Sharon Capehart has, and she, you know, raves and raves over it. So I don't know what, you know, the product's like or anything. I can tell you this here. It melts into your skin and I do feel it plumps my skin. It's like it works. It's like another one of the products. You know how like you keep finding the miss missing pieces of a puzzle and you're adding into your puzzle, you know, and you're, you're just you're finding all the missing pieces. I feel like this adding to the rest of the stuff that I do. I do it pretty much day and night and it does plump up my skin I do feel it plumps it up and I just use like one little it looks it's pretty thick it's a pretty thick serum that's what it looks like and it melts which I guess I can show you here though how it melts like see how that look at that I mean like it literally melts into the skin it does feel a little tacky for a while, but that's okay because like what I do is I'll stop in between what I'm doing and let it dry for a bit and let it set. Put a link down below to their site. Anytime I get products sent to me, I'm not going to push them on you guys and not say you have to get it. I just recommend like, yeah, you should check it out. Maybe try it out if you'd like to, or if it sounds something, you know. I'd like to make sure I say this is I am not somebody that's going to come on and say I like this product when I really don't like the product. I think you guys probably know that by now because you could probably tell, you know, I mean, I've had products sent to me that's not always been the greatest. Obviously, I think it was my last video of my what I'm liking and not so much. There were several products that were sent to me that was just meh. So, yeah, I'm just going to put that out there. I'm starting to really enjoy this company and it is a bodgy. And no surprise, you know, like somebody told me that almost several of you guys, after I showed some of my Abaji products that I got, uh, and I said they were really good, there was quite a few of you guys that said you have used Abaji and you agreed, you were like, you know, oh my gosh, yeah, like it is a pretty good line. You've used it, you've tried it, you still use it maybe or something. So I've had quite a few of you guys already say that you have really enjoyed this company and I can see why and I would it is high-end but it's not it's not full fetch to out of my range this is the uh, essential growth 
Factor Serum Plus. Comes a really nice casing like this here. Really nice. So it's one of those ones where you push this down and a little bit pumps out. We'll probably see, see how it comes out. And it has a, a scent that I've smelled before in another kind of a maybe serum, but there it is. It's kind of really, it's, it's very thick. It's a very thick, and you put this on at night. This is a nighttime serum. So you put this on it says about 30 minutes before you go to bed. You put this on and then you go to sleep and it's supposed to, you know, like rejuvenate your skin and everything. And I've really been liking it. I feel like it's adding that, you know, extra hydration and everything. But this is really, really great stuff. I would definitely, I'm definitely purchasing it too. And then the Lanolin Rose Hip uh, Skin Renew uh, firming serum. This I got at TJ Maxx. So it is another one. It's like pretty tacky when you first put it on and then you have to let it dry. So what I've been doing is I'll add, I'll do two pumps of this product here, place it on, pat, like just pat it all on and you know, you'll feel it's tacky for a bit and then let it dry. Then I'll add this product here, this serum here add that on top of that, let that dry. Then I'll add usually my moisturizer and all that kind of stuff. I don't do this every single night. I will do it several different nights. So if I am gonna use this, I will just use the rose hip oil, the serum oil first. Then I'll put this on top because it is more thicker. This one will absorb and you know, so that's what I'll do with when I, when I use this one here. But highly recommend, I mean, if you can go to your TJ Maxx, I think you would really like this rose hip. It is really nice. I hope they have more. I do see you can get them on Amazon a lot of times. So but those are my skincare products. I'll go ahead and get into some makeup here, which I've been pulling back out my Too Faced Hangover uh, X primer. This has the coconut oil. Yeah, coconut water, I'm sorry, it has coconut water and it also helps keep your skin hydrated. I love that because right now in the winter time, I really get, I really get dry really bad. And so I need every hydration product I can get. Um, I know I don't feel I overhydrate. I don't feel you possibly could, especially if you have dry skin like I do. I'll tell you what, I will be glad when I get my hair done. I'm actually thinking of my hair done tomorrow. It has been forever since I've had my hair cut and it it seriously has been forever. It's probably been well over a year since I've had my hair colored, no joke. And I'm tired of seeing my grays flashing and highlighting with the, yeah, new. Okay, so this product here is from Revlon. It's their Color Stay Cream Eyeshadow. This one's in Honey. It's a really pretty color. And I actually used it. I think it's a pretty good product. It At first, I wasn't so sure if I would like it. This one is very, very faint to see. You'll see what I mean. This one's Honey. I haven't tried their other ones out but you can kind of see it there. I think it's a really pretty eyeshadow to add on your eyelids, like after, after you add in like a crease, like a matte crease color and all that kind of stuff. And then if you dab this just a little bit on your eyelids, gorgeous, it looks gorgeous. This is also nice to use as a base. For one, I don't feel, it comes with a little brush added into it in here it's nothing I, my personal opinion i feel like these are better than the color tattoo i know there's gonna be some people like gasping or whatever because some people love their maybelline color tattoos and i think they're just they're they're very nice i like using them i use them as a base for the most part there is a couple that i have used just on my eyelids and worked and made a really pretty uh eyeshadow look there's like a couple of them 
Honestly, my favorite is the L'Oreal Infallible, though. I like them so much more better than the color tattoos. I think the Revlon ones are even better. So I would work more between these and the L'Oreal Infallibles. I just think they this seems more creamier. It's not as stiff, if you know what I mean. Like the Maybelline color tattoos seem more stiff to me. So really like these, and I am definitely going to get a couple more colors. Some new other products that I have here. I just recently, and I did a, a makeup look, so you'll see this in the makeup look. But I already know I, I like it because when I put it on, it's like one of those things, like a, a blush, you pretty much know if you're going to like it or not. And this is one of the new butter blushes. They have the butter bronzers, which I've never even got that yet, and I want to get it. It's so funny I have not even got the butter bronzer. But I did pick up the Butter Blush, and this is in Plum Rose. It has that uh, smell that everybody's talking about, the like tropical coconut smell. It reminds me of, yeah, being out on the beach. And, yeah, so there it is there. I'm not flipping you guys off. Sorry about that, but there it is. Nice neutral. Oops, I think I put it on top of the eyeshadow. That's not going to work. It's a nice neutrally shade, plum neutral shade, right there. There it is, right there. And that is what I have on my cheeks today. It gives like a nice natural uh, look on the cheeks. So I really like that. And of course you knew this was going to be in here. And I have this on today is the Lorac uh illuminating highlighter in moonlight this one is what i have on my cheeks probably will get another one of their colors that's it right there you can see the shimmery glow from it and that's it right there so it's a very pretty highlighter on my lips oh my goodness okay so i ended up getting one of the new Maybelline Color Sensational Lip Liners. I got one of them. This one is in 105 Nude Whisper, which that's what you see right here. That's the lip liner because I was doing a makeup look right before I did this. So you probably see the look, makeup look. I was trying out a lot of my products and seeing what, you know, like what I thought and kind of giving you an idea of my first thoughts of trying them out and you know all that good stuff so that will probably be up here later but uh, later on at some point but that's it right there it is really pretty I will definitely be picking up more of these I forget how much they were though the lipstick that goes with it oh my goodness I I'm in love with this this color here this one is in 565 odd almond rose not sure how well you'll see that but 565 Almond Rose. And I'll show you in the casing itself. These are the creamy mattes that they have. That's it right there. And then that's it swatched. Oh my goodness. That is gorgeous, gorgeous shade. It's a creamy matte. But that's the color I have on my lips. And it is really, really pretty. Lastly, I don't know if Mally sells these anymore. I'm really going to have to search because I've always loved her pore, Poreless Perfection Skin Finisher. They, It's a loose powder. It's her loose powder. And this I had for a while now. And I pulled it back out. I love this because it actually... Kind of like the face defender, you know, how it helps with the pores, like, you know, in like makes your pores almost invisible. That's kind of what this always did. It always made it look like my skin was my skin, like it looked very airbrushed and flawless. So I will have to look into that because this has always been one of my favorite face powders, like especially for a loose face powder. Ari Beauties, that's everything, I believe. Is it? I think so. I think that's everything. I think my cat fell asleep. I think he's laying on the chair. Uh, my old chair that I was sitting at whenever I filmed a lot of times over by that window there. So I will be doing a lot of switching around. So before my son leaves, I do want to have uh, stuff moved around. So where I'm filming at right now, this area here, 
will be behind me because it's a bookcase and I'm going to put stuff on top of the bookcase and kind of decorate behind me with the bookcase and I'm going to have my desk and chair back and you know have it out so you'll be seeing the wall here and that's what I'm I think I'm going to kind of do just to kind of change things up again a little bit and kind of decorate the back of the bookcase and you know kind of just put my own little fix with it and to it and everything so all right guys thank you so much for joining me I really appreciate it uh if you did like this video please give me a thumbs up that would help me out so much and I'd love it very much and make me happy. Also, if you are not subscribed to my channel and this is your first time watching or anything, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and you can join me each week if you'd love to uh, see some more of my videos. Make sure you click the bell that's right next to the subscribe button. That will inform you of when my new videos are uploading and everything. Uh, if you're interested in keeping track of what I'm liking and not so much or any other reviews or any other things I do, and as always, bees, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. Love you guys. Bye.